Good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel here and today I'm gonna to have a look at um, the West Coast mainline on Trains and World 5. I bought the deluxe edition of this so I've got early access and I've got all the relevant DLC that comes with said deluxe edition including the 390 which I've not had a go of yet. I um, streamed live stream this yesterday after work as the early access went live yesterday at 4 p.m. That's the 12th. So I'm recording this video today on the 13th, Friday the 13th. So let's hope we have no bad luck when we're running this. And I had a quick look at, um, I think it was the 350 and the 377 last night live on stream. And then I had a quick hop over to Frankfurt and had a look at the Flix train. And I wanted to have a look at the 390, but by the time I'd finished streaming, and because I got home from work late, I was quite tired. But so I've got a few hours free this morning before I go back work. So I'm going to have a look at the 390. So West Coast Mainline, London, Euston to Milton Keynes. That was last played. Uh, we'll jump over to Scenarios. And the 390, there's three scenarios that use the 390 down here at the bottom. 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and then an hour. I'm just going to have a go at the 40 minutes. And see how we fare, because that is the easiest one as well, so that will be probably more casual. Don't want anything too taxing this morning. Especially as I'm on a time limit with work pending this afternoon. So this refreshing refurb. Set up and drive the first newly refurbished Class 390 from the sidings at Wembley to London Euston and up the West Coast Main Line. So, without further ado, oh, I haven't completed the um, introduction though. I mean, the scenarios, I'll, I'll do that as a later date, I'll do that probably on live stream, because the scenarios talk you through how to set up a train anyway, I think. If this trips me up, then so be it, but let's, um, let's skip it for now. There's that music overpowering my voice as well, because it's really loud in my headset. But I've already knocked it down, so unless the game has forgotten the settings. Good morning, driver. Welcome to the Intercity Depot at Wembley. These Class 390s in front of you are the first of the newly refurbished trains. Today you have the honour of driving the first refurbished train from Euston before driving up to the Watford to meet another refurbished train on its way to London. I had to speed up the reading there because the, it disappeared quite quickly when I was trying to be smooth. So... There's some weird stuff going on with the light in there and in the shadows, isn't there? A bit odd. Anyway. Is it still doing it when I'm over it? That's weird, that. So, board the train. Oh, could that step come out there? That's pretty groovy. Let's climb up and let's shut that door if I can. There we go. The step is the step going to go in. Are we going to see it? Couldn't see it, but I heard it go in. Nice touch. Uh, it sits in the driver's seat. Again, let's shut that door. Press and hold the train auxiliaries set button for five seconds which is wow all the way over there five seconds here we go insert the master key reverse uh, Neutral. Press pan up traction reset button.
set the reverser to forward. How can I kill that alarm? Press the alarm acknowledgement button. There we go. Wait for the second tilt alarm warning. Press the alarm acknowledgement button again. Press the intervention reset button. Set the exterior lights to day running. Bit fiddly on a control pad, you know, compared to a mouse. I like sometimes day running, day, day back up, day running. There we go. The train is set up and ready to go. Proceed to Euston Station. Oh, so it's uh, one handle. And we're off. Uh, 6.5 miles. Nice and to you, isn't it? That nice and looks nice and cosy and enclosed. Proper comfortable. So I've got the outside of the train. Kill the power so that I coast. Got a, oh, got a down downhill slant as well. Anyway, See how long this is. Oof, quite long now, look at that. Any passengers on board? I don't think there is, is there? Maybe it's because I've probably just drove. Are they? Look at these. Are these electronic? Not in service, so no passengers on board yet. I like them electronic screens on the doors. Sure, they look electronic.
just get up high one second. Let's do a uh, 360 of the area. Oh, there's Wembley in the distance there. The Wembley Arch. They're uh, going over the stadium. I should have checked that out when I was a bit closer. Didn't realise we'd see that because I always try to keep a lookout for that on the um, the other London routes that we've had on Trains and World 4. And I never saw it on the skyline and I was kind of expecting it to depend considering that it was the game was uh, sometimes sounded that we were in that vicinity of some of the passenger stuff we were doing. So, any details on this train? Maximum speed 140. Tilting train. 11 car train set. Speeding now, because it went to 20 and then dropped back down to 15. Nice slow coast out of those sidings, isn't it? Not really able to open the, uh, the, the valves yet, although we've got a 110 mile an hour speed limit coming up. So let's start slapping the power down. Still got 5.1 miles to go. I did some nice long runs on the. Um, in the 377 and the 3... I think it was the 350 or 360 last night. At one point, I, I had a 41 mile run with no stops. And that, you will be able to catch that on my YouTube channel soon as I've exported the live stream from Twitch to YouTube. So that should be up. Probably as I post this, as uh, this video goes out, that should be ready too. So check out my other videos on the channel. There'll be a lot more Trains and World 5 content coming, no doubt. Some nice weather changes in there on the, um, the run I did last night too. You could see it getting gloomy. And I literally at one point said, as I was facing the wrong way, I was like, and I think I was on the exterior of the train, I was like, oh, it's gone really cloudy and groomy and grey. I've got a feeling it's going to rain soon. And as soon as I flipped back into the interior view of the train and was facing through the windshield and the windscreen, um, there was little specks of rain coming down. I was like, there you go, there you have it.
Oh shit, speeding. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Brakes. In fact, I better leave the brakes on because I'm going to 80 and then I've got to get it down to 55 ASAP. It's crazy really because since the, the release of the first Train Sim World game on console back in I think it was 2018 on the PS4 and the Xbox One, it's crazy that we've been saying that we can't, uh, us console players can't kind of believe that we've got access to games like this nowadays and more games of a similar nature have filtered through on console and we've started getting spoilt a little bit on console with games like this. Games like, even games like, um, completely going off tangent, but even games like Anno, Ubisoft's Anno game, City Builders and stuff like that, that you would never dream you were going to get on console, because every, you were kind of in the, under the impression that they were, they were centric to PC because of the need to have precision mouse keyboard controls and so many buttons, and yet they make them work really well. And we've had now, what, five iterations of this? And it's got better as it's gone on with new features added like the volumetric fog, the clouds, the dynamic weather, the lighting. And it, it just looks stunning. You get the occasional graphical hitch or frame rate hitch. But it's not off-putting in any way. It doesn't hinder my experience. And I love the variety in these games. I love the, the mix-up. Of the passenger stuff, the freight stuff, the the you know the work in the rail yard stuff, the steam stuff which they added to Train Sim World 4, absolutely brilliant. And some of them are quite challenging to control those monsters as on some of the routes, especially when you've got some hill climbs. But it's done so well. They come under criticism because of their, the way that they, they release their games and, how, and, and what they're doing, but it's, it's their business model, it's what they do, and it works for most people, you know? It's um, it's a kind of, you, you get your base game, few routes thrown in, few features thrown in, and then new routes get released and you, you buy what you want to buy, you buy what tickles your fancy, you buy the routes that float your boat, and that's the beauty of it. Well, it is nice to see how far this has come, and the fact that they never, once it got it, it found its feet, and its audience on console, um, they've just improved it no end, and they never gave up on it, it was never kind of like a one-off, let's throw it out there to test the waters and see how it is, it's done really well for itself on console this. Now, as we know with these games as well, that with the different vehicles, the different trains that are in the game, uh, there's a bit of a, a bit of a, an initial trial and error learning curve on knowing what the kind of uh, the braking distances are of said vehicles. Make sure you don't run any red lights or crash into any barriers. gently slide up here. So I take it then as this is a dead end I'm going to be uh, switching ends. Shutting this train down and switching ends. There's a well-known railroad journalist who wants to get a picture of you with the new train. Shut down the cab and speak to them before preparing the train for departure. So set the power handle.
off. Reverse it, off. Set the lights to the tail. And remove the master key. And exit the train. Uh, what side is the platform on? That side. So let's go this way. There's a step coming out again. Let me just shut that door. Talk to the journalist. Here we go. Waving at me over there. Jeffrey Hallmarsh. Let me just line up this. Perfect. Now look at the camera. Say cheese. Cheese. And then climb aboard. Sit in the driver's seat. So I'm going to go to the other end. The station looks crazy. When I pulled out of this last night on the 377, it looked absolutely... That might make my way through this station on foot at first, and it looks uh, insane how much detail there is and how busy it looks. You get a real sense of feeling that it's busy. A, you know, a busy, bustling station. So I sit in the driver's seat. Our station seems to load bike. So, master key first. AW reset button. Day running. All our passengers aboard and head straight up to Watford to meet the second train. If time's right, both you and the other train should arrive at the same time, making a great photo, opp photo opportunity. So, unlock doors. Get the reverser in forward, ready to go. Shouldn't roll, because we're on level ground. Train should not roll. You can't really let the, uh, let the brakes off or have the reverser in position if you're on a, a bank or any kind of incline or decline. The train will roll. Am I going to time? Is this going to give me time limit or is this going to be a casual run? Have I got any time, kind of schedule or timetable to do? I don't think I have, judging by the timer on the top left. 
I do prefer this minimal hood as well I do as opposed to the um, the dials on the bottom right that the game originally had and in the, uh, later on in Trains of World 4 they gave you this option of having this minimal hood and I do like this minimal hood of just having the, the, the thing top left top right and we're off 15 mile run here nice 15 mile run Let's get a shot of the train coming out that uh, bustling station. Might go up and pass Wembley again then here. Gotta be on your toes as well with this. You've got to make sure you keep an eye on those red lights on the top uh, right. Any upcoming red lights. And if they look like they're not going to change, it looks like you're going to have to stop and wait for another for traffic up ahead for another train or traffic up ahead then you got to make sure you you break in time So remember this is an early access at the moment as well for anybody that's looking at buying this or has bought this. Um, all your routes from tr or any routes that you own from all the previous games and all your, your library will be available when the game officially launches on the 17th. For, so anybody with a deluxe edition is going to only have access to the new content which is the West Coast Main Line, the Frankfurt Line, the San Bernardino Line which is the LA Metrolink Line and then the uh, Cajon Pass. Cajon Pass, I believe, I understand, is not really any different, but was thrown into the pack as a little bit of a billy bonus. Um, I don't remember. It's, it's weird, really, because... And comment, drop your comments down below to correct me if I'm wrong. But I can't remember if the Cajon Pass was included as a base route in TSW4, or whether it was something I bought. And whether they're just going to... Why is my train suddenly going really slow? But yeah, Cajon Pass is included, but it's apparently no different than what it was before uh, in TSW4. Not even had any lighting improvements as such. But then it, it got the CS4W treatment anyway. But then San Bernardino has had some um, detailing, some extra detailing put in on the, the track, on the route. And I believe as well they've added some new scenarios in, so you've got uh, some freight stuff going on with that route. And don't forget, deluxe owners get access to the, I think they get access to the Flix train and this train that I'm currently driving. So that were annoyed quite a few people, that they've put this train that I'm actually driving be behind the need to buy the deluxe edition. But no doubt, they'll make this train available separately, anyway. It, it was just a, a way up and a toss up of getting it included in the deluxe edition, because there was an int introductory price on the Deluxe Edition at the moment across all platforms so you get 10% off if you pre-order before the 17th or if you buy it before the 17th but yeah when the game officially launches on the 17th for everyone all your you'll be able to re-download all your existing routes that you own into this game
So let me just have a look at the um, the itinerary. So I set off at... I left those sidings near Wembley at... 6.05, and remember this is a 45 minute run, so I should in theory be due to finish this entire run at 6.55. No, 6.50. My maths is poor. Very poor. So literally, I've got to get to that Watford Junction Platform 6, load passengers, shut down the train, job done. Should be able to keep the uh, the gas down here, the power down. Because yeah, there we go. We've got a hundred mile an hour limit now. What feeling of speed when you're on the exterior view? Let's have a look on the skyline. See what we can see. the tilt on that then going uh, overcast here might get a bit of rain before this scenario finishes that's all right since it's aware of what just in case I need them where are wipers There, wind reader wipers. There's Wembley again in the distance. Let's have a look at Wembley. Look at that. Going right round and past that as well, I think.
the sun's coming back out now. I think the chance of any rain has gone. I think it's just, the sun's just breaking through the clouds again there. Oh, Wembley soon disappeared into the haze, didn't it? Take the power off so I don't get caught speeding. Hundred and ten mile an hour speed limit approaching. I think I'm going to get it here, here way ahead of schedule, you know. If this is literally the, the only stop I've got to make to shut and then shut the train down. Because 45 minutes run. Was it a 40 minute run or a 45 minute run? I think it was. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it was a 45 minute run. So remember guys, if anybody is new to my channel here, uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I do upload additional content. And please give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind. And drop any questions or comments down below. I'll always do my level best to answer any questions anybody has. Oh no! I'm out of balloon this, you know, at the last minute. I'm on the emergency brake here because I've got a red light. That's because I was waffling. That's what happens in this game when you waffle. I'm at, I haven't blown it as such, I think I got away with that, but because I had to apply the emergency brake, that means I've kind of got to come to a full stop. You have to then wait for the brakes to release, I think. Let's put it in neutral. And then forward, and then let's crawl. Let's hope I haven't buggered the train and I can crawl forward. Yeah, there we go, we're crawling. Uh, do you know, I, I honestly thought, after all that then, with that waffling at the end, I thought I was going to 
bust that red light. But uh, I've just learned something there. These brakes on this are astonishing. <laughs> These are some good brakes on this beast. So as I was saying as well, when I was waffling and I almost blew a red light, um, yeah, drop your comments below, questions, uh, just general discussion around the game. When did you, if you're playing Train Sim World, when did you come to it? Have you been with it on console since the beginning in 2018? Have you have you played Train Simulator on PC for years? Tell us some of your experiences with Train Sim World. Well, that train never arrived at the same time as me, as um, I think they, they intended it to for a photo opportunity. So, unlock doors. It's here now, I think. Doors locked. Looks like we didn't arrive at the same time as the other train. So is that supposed to arrive bang on 6.45? Looks like 6.45 almost. So I needed to kind of stag stagger that uh, run into the actual final station here. We will be held here for a while. We'll park the train and let's see how we did here today. So what we're we doing? Shut down the power handle. It's off. One on that master key. Still got a gold, didn't arrive at the same time. I still got a gold. I only lost a few points for speeding. I'm not sure if I've uh, if there's any platinums up for grabs on this, like there was in on some of the scenarios on TSW4. Whether I've I've because I got golds on the scenarios. I had two scenarios I did last night as well. Let's just have a look before I um I get off. Uh, let's go back to main menu quickly. To the trains, to the routes, scenarios. There is, there is platinums. There is platinums up for grabs. And look at the difference between them. So for that, I've just done, the scenario I've just done, 3,900 for gold. Six thousand. Is that 6,500 for a platinum? That's quite a big jump for the platinum. You've really got to be on the ball forget those Platinums, so that's going to be a challenge for some. But we like challenges, we like a challenge, to be fair. So yeah, could you, could, could home pass, if I just quickly show you this. See, so I've got, those are the three scenarios done there, and those scenarios, I've done them in TSW4. And 
it's remembered that I've done them. So I've only got the three here that are outstanding. Whereas, I think if I go to San Bernardino line and scenarios, I haven't done any of them. So all the scenarios on San Benedio are all new. And then you've obviously got the Frankfurt scenarios, and there's 10 scenarios on Frankfurt, and I've only done the one so far. And I like these longer scenarios, I do like that they're putting longer scenarios in, like 45 minutes, 50 minutes, even 30, even 30 minute scenarios. Much better than some of the 5 and 10 minute scenarios they used to throw into some of the older games, much better to get your teeth into something but anyway that's going to conclude this video on train some world 5 early access that i'm playing here uh i wanted a quick look at the 390 on a quick scenario that i could fit in under an hour due to the limitations of the ps5 rec recording of only allowing a recording of up to an hour but i'm going to leave it there um keep an eye out for my live streams because i do live stream this game as well over on my twitch channel i think i've got a link for my twitch channel in my youtube profile again give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell to get notified when i upload additional and new content and drop your comments below other than that i'm going to leave you to enjoy the rest of your days whatever you are doing i'll be back soon so take care everyone and I'll see you on the next one.